is uh, one uh, Blake Masters, who's doing very well as the Arizona Republican Senate candidate. The polls are closing. Blake, welcome back to the show, first of all. I want you to hear, it's very interesting, your governor, Doug Ducey, who enthusiastically supported you on the show last night. Here's what he said on the show for you. Take a listen, please, Blake. Well, Blake's immensely talented. He's been successful in the private sector. And what you should be hammering is Mark Kelly, Joe Biden, and our southern border. That's really the issue here in Arizona, and I think across our country, when we see these fentanyl deaths happening. Oh, Mark right. Kelly's the most powerful senator in the United States. All he had to do was vote no once on any of these things that Biden was moving forward until the southern border was secure, and he's not done it once. Isn't that something, Blake? I mean, I, I think Ducey put his, really, hit, hit, the, hit, the nail, hit the nail on the head, and Kelly had plenty of chances to vote for the southern border, to beef it up, to stop the fentanyl. And um, what Doug Ducey is saying to you is you should hammer him at every turn. That's right. That's right. Couldn't agree more with uh, Governor Ducey. And, and yeah, that's what we're doing. That's why I'm gaining momentum in this race. I think it's a, it's a dead heat. It's a jump ball right now. But we've got the momentum. So, so we expect to win because, Larry, voters in Arizona are just, they're fed up. Right. It'd be bad enough if Biden and Mark Kelly were trying but failing to secure the southern border. Well, they're not even trying. They've surrendered. They've surrendered the whole border to the Mexican drug cartels. And uh, they're not even trying to enforce federal law. Mark Kelly, as the 50th vote in a deadlocked Senate, mm. he could have demanded border security from Biden and got it. Right. He could have used his leverage. Sometimes cinema does this, but Mark Kelly never stands up for the people of Arizona. He never uses his leverage as that tie-breaking vote. He could have held up Biden's agenda and said, Mr. President, I'm not giving you a single appointee, not a single piece of funding, and less than until we get some border security. Biden would have had to capitulate. The border would be secure. We, we can blame Mark Kelly for this border crisis. It, it really is that simple. So when you hit him on this, look, this is an inflation economy election. But, but, but in Arizona, it becomes a border drug fentanyl election. Uh, Blake Masters, when you hammer Kelly on that, what does he say? Because this guy hardly ever says anything in public. What does he say to this uh, charge? He literally just, he lies. He says, you know, hey, I've been focused on the border since day one. I've done all that anyone can to secure the border. He tried that in our debate, Larry. Hmm. So at first it made me upset because he was just lying. But then I realized he's walking into a trap. So I said, Senator, if that's the best you can do, if you've been on this since day one, you should probably go ahead and resign because it hasn't worked. The border's wide open. Man, you must be the worst and most ineffective senator of all time. Hmm. So the other thing is, he voted for every inflation bill, going back to March of 2021. He voted for the infrastructure bill, which was Green New Deal. He voted for this uh, ridiculous, fraudulent inflation reduction bill, which is really miniature, uh, you know, uh, build back better. I hope sincerely, Blake, you're just hammering him. He is an inflationist. Any Democrat who voted for these bills are the cause of the high and continuing inflation, which is causing recession. Are you hammering him? Promise me, Blake, you're going to just hammer him. I promise we're doing it. We're going to do it for the next 21 days. We're going to do it all the way to victory. Uh, I'm tired of people talking about inflation as if it's some act of God, right? Yeah. This isn't some horrible hurricane that happened from nowhere. Biden and Mark Kelly's economic policies caused this. They surrendered our energy independence. They made energy too expensive. Well, that makes everything in the economy too expensive. And then these geniuses printed $6 trillion and spent it in the last 20 months. They caused this inflation, and we know what we need to do. We need to get our energy independence back, and we need to stop this crazy Joe Biden, Mark Kelly sp spending spree. It really is that simple. Yeah, and you, you know, you've been an investor, you've been a banker, you've been an entrepreneur, you know this stuff. Kelly doesn't know this stuff. He just goes along with it. He talks a game, he goes along with it. Well, look, Blake, uh, we don't have enough time, but um, you, you sound great tonight. You really do. Keep hammering. All right, the border, the fentanyl, the inflation. You're, no, no, you're exactly right. And um, we're going to have a new gilded age with free market capitalism if we get ourselves 51, 52 votes in the Senate. Blake Masters from Arizona, good luck, my friend.